it's a terrible situation for GPs, and it has been a terrible situation. It's been getting worse for a long time now. There's pledges about hiring more doctors. We hear them at every single general election. Um, all of them have been failed. In fact, Jeremy Hunt promised 5,000 new GPs, it, you know, said we'd get them by 2020. We're actually 1,500 less GPs now than when he made that pledge. And the reason is that staff aren't supported. These ministers go to the Daily Mail and they write things which aren't true about GPs. They stand up in Parliament and they say that it's GPs' fault that they're not seeing patients face to face when it was actually the government and health authorities that told GPs at the beginning of the pandemic to switch to telephone consultations. It was GPs who pushed back and continued seeing their patients throughout the pandemic. Many GPs died. Many GPs had no PPE. And GPs work in a system where there's no backup. If you're a GP partner mm. and you've got COVID staff sickness and your patients are getting sicker, and the waiting list in the NHS are getting longer, it's up to you to provide the care for the patients who are yours, thousands of patients, and it never stops. And it's really demoralising for GPs to open up the papers, turn on the radio, listen to the news, and, and be told again and again it's the GP's fault, GPs aren't around, there aren't any GPs, can't get through to my sure. GP. What these people should be doing is speaking to their MP, because the GPs who are frontline, who are working for patients, aren't the people managing the budget. It's the ministers who are managing the budget and they're cutting the budget and blaming the staff at the same time.